Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. How are you all doing? So here I was uh, storing the coriander leaves, curry leaves which were freshly bought. Uh, I have placed a uh, tissue paper in the below of the container. Uh, this way you can store the curry leaves, coriander leaves, and also mint leaves. Uh, this will keep the herbs fresh for longer time. So here I have about 1 kg of fresh crab which I am going to clean and in today's video I am going to show you all how to make crab pepper soup along with instant wheat dosa. So here I am cleaning the crab also I have cut the small legs and I am going to separate the uh, two large legs uh, from the main part of the crab. I hope you all know how to clean the crab. So today's recipe uh, crab pepper soup will be made in the pressure cooker. Yes, I am going to make it in a pressure cooker. This recipe is delicious and full of flavor. You need to try this because this is super easy to make and um, it is absolutely delicious. And wheat dosa is so easy to make that you can make it in you know just a um, few minutes. It's so quick to make. So once I am done uh, cleaning this. 3 to 4 times with salt and lemon uh, I'm going to show you all how to make the crab pepper soup so for the crab pepper soup I've taken here about 2 medium sized onion which I'm going to thinly slice and 3 green chilli which I'm going to slit into 2 and 2 medium sized tomato which I'm also going to slice So in this video, I'm also going to show you all how to make a special mango dish without cooking. You can make this, uh, you can have it for lunch along with the rice or with the ganji. Uh, and it's a season of mangoes. So you, you all can try this recipe and let me know in the comment section. Now for the crab pepper soup, I have heat here a large pressure cooker to which I have added about 1 tablespoon of oil. I am also going to use about 1 tablespoon of ghee. Now to this I am going to add some whole spices like uh, cardamom. I have used here 2 cardamom, about uh, 2 small sticks of cinnamon and about one teaspoon of whole peppercorn and about uh, one or two small bay leaves after adding the whole spices i'm going to add the sliced onion and saute for about five to six minutes here also I'm going to add uh, salt. Once the onions are nice and soft, I'm going to add the sliced tomato along with the slit cream chilli. Saute now for about 1 or 2 minutes until the tomatoes are soft and then you can add about 1.5 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. After adding ginger garlic paste, I'm going to saute this until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste disappears and then we'll add the rest of the spices. Now to this I'm going to add about quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and fry until all the masalas are cooked well. Once 
once the masala has cooked well i'm going to add the washed and clean crab and cook for about three to four minutes here i'm adding about uh, three cups of water also i'm going to add about one tablespoon of pepper powder you can always adjust uh, spice according to your taste and uh, i'm going to give it a stir and then once the crab starts boiling uh, i'm going to close the lid and let it cook until four to five whistles four whistles is more than enough While I was cooking, I was making sure that he takes care of Ayana. Uh, now for the wheat dosa, I have taken here about uh, two and a half cups of wheat flour, and to this I am going to add about one cup of semolina soji, also salt according to your taste, and water to make the batter. So here I am going to add water gradually and uh, keep stirring to make the batter. Make sure there are no lumps while making this batter. Make sure the batter is not too runny or not too thick. Uh, it should be same as the batter we make for uh, the normal dosas. So here our batter is ready. I'm going to heat up tawa, to which I'm going to pour the wheat batter and make dosas. I'll cover this and cook. So here I've used uh, ghee, you can use oil or butter and then flip and uh, cook this for about 15 to 20 seconds. Same way I'm going to make the rest of the dosas. This dosa is my uh, ever favorite because you do not have to soak the rice grind it and ferment it overnight uh, as a busy mom for me this recipe is uh, my favorite because uh, it's an instant dosa recipe So here our wheat dosa is ready, also I am going to give the crab soup final touch, I have added a few curry leaves, also I am going to squeeze some lemon and just before serving I am going to add some freshly chopped coriander leaves. This was the next day. Uh, here I was uh, preparing for lunch. I also had uh, previous night's uh, leftover crab soup. So thought of making uh, these uh, mango upumolo. For that I have here about two uh, sweet and sour mango which I'm going to roughly slice. To this, I'm going to add about one tablespoon of sugar and salt to taste. Now I'm 
going to squeeze the mangoes with my hand i'm going to squeeze it well you can also use a fork or spoon to squeeze but uh, squeezing with the hand gives that extra flavor and uh, taste So here I've added about 2 cups of water, also I'm going to roughly cut the green chilies and add. I've used about 3 green chilies, you can add more or less according to your preference. After adding the green chilli, I'm going to squeeze the green chilies so that the spice of the green chilli is infused in the mango pulp. This is the same way how my mother used to make uh, in my childhood. So here uh, mango upumolo is ready. I'm going to have this for lunch along with the crab pepper soup. This lunch was one of my favorite because crab soup was full of flavor and the mango pumalo gave me that nostalgia feeling. Also if you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel. That's all for today. Take care everyone. Allah Hafiz.